Have you ever been working and felt like, hey, my job might be in jeopardy? Well, sometimes it's not paranoia. Sometimes you might actually be right. In today's video, I'm going to give you five signs that you might be in jeopardy of losing your job. Let's go. Now, the first big sign that your job might be in jeopardy or you might be looking at to be downsized is you get a email or you were asked by your boss or HR to rate yourself on different skills and abilities that are necessary for your job. This kind of out of nowhere evaluation where they're like, hey, um, could you go ahead and tell me of all the things that are required of your job, where would you rate yourself and how proficient do you think you are in those things should serve as a pretty big warning sign. That doesn't just happen out of nowhere. Nobody is sitting there as a boss and goes, you know what, I think I must have all my people rate themselves for no reason. That kind of thing can cause anxiety, it can cause stress, and they wouldn't do it unless they were using it as part of an evaluation process. Another very similar thing that is like a huge warning sign is that you're asked to kind of give them a breakdown of how you spend your day. What do you do on an hour by hour basis? What are you spending your time doing, right? If they ask you to catalog your time and give some sort of justification as to how you are spending your minutes of the day, that is a problem they should know. At a bare minimum, that is a level of micromanaging that is uncomfortable at best. But at worst case scenario is they're looking at it to see like, how productive is this person? Do we need this person? Is this person actually even doing the right thing? And do we wanna keep them on the staff? Pretty big red flag. Hey, by the way, if you're finding value in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. It's free, it tells YouTube I don't suck, and it motivates me to make more videos like this. And if you're already willing to do that, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, that way you never miss one of my three free weekly videos, all designed to help you nail your next interview and land your dream job. Now, most managers will have like a weekly or bi-weekly uh, meeting with their direct reports. They wanna find out what's going on, handle any issues, and help give them feedback on an ongoing basis to help continue to train them and up-level them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you have one of these meetings and then all of a sudden it goes away, that is a sign. If that is something that if all of a sudden my boss was like, hey, we're not gonna meet anymore, uh, I'd be like, okay, time to brush up on my LinkedIn and my resume. That is a big sign to me. It is one of those things that they wouldn't make that decision flippantly if they're doing that. Things are changing, change is afoot. You should certainly uh, be concerned about that. Now, most of you are probably involved in projects, different committees, different meetings, different things that have a relatively consistent cadence, right? Or maybe you're involved in big projects that are cross-departmental, um, or you, know, you, you, you collaborate with other people, or you're involved in big time decisions uh, as you move forward. If all of a sudden, you are no longer invited to those things, right? Those big projects that you used to be involved in, all of a sudden, you are not involved. And they are still ongoing, and it is not communicated to you as to why that is the case. That is a pretty big warning sign that you might need to dust off the old resume. That is a big issue. If this happens, I would probably ask my boss, hey, I used to be involved in these kind of things. It appears now that they're not. Is this some, um, you know, is there something I could do differently? I really enjoyed those projects. And see what they say. Based on what they say, how they respond, you know, that would motivate me to either feel a little bit more safe or a little bit more unease. But generally speaking, if you're involved in something that is ongoing, that you've been involved in for a very long time, and now you are not, that is reason for concern. And one of the things that's pretty common in corporate America is you're asked to help people learn things, asked to help train them. But if uh, there's a new person, or a person who's moved into your department, or someone who is taking on more work, and you're basically asked to train exactly what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and replicate yourself, especially if you're one of those people where there's not a lot of people who do what you do, that's a pretty big warning sign. That is essentially training your replacement. Now, I've been in recruitment for 15 years and I can't tell you how many times I've heard from somebody who said, I basically trained my replacement. You know, I went, they brought a new person in, they asked me how to teach them this, 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 and this. Um, and all of a sudden, they determined that they wanted to move forward with that person, and I was let go, I was downsized, etc. That is one of those things where you can't resist that. You can't say, no, I'm not going to train that person. Um, that is not going to change the inevitable, but it is something that should serve as a warning sign that perhaps you should ready yourself for a job search, or you should be proactive and start job searching now. Now, if you've been listening to this, and you checked a bunch of those boxes and said, a lot of these things are happening to me, and now you're feeling a bit wary, the best thing you could do is take action and prepare. So what you should do is certainly dust off that resume, do what you have to do on LinkedIn, start networking with people. But one of the things you can absolutely do is prepare for some of the common interview questions you're going to get asked as a candidate. This right here is pretty much the hardest question you're gonna ask. It's what's your greatest weakness? And I made a video on exactly how to answer it. That way you can start preparing. So I'm done here, but I'll see you over there.